same first couple of laps, but watch for the last few rows in line. That's where the bottleneck is going to happen. Waiting for the green flag from Elliott Smith. Brandon Watson on the outside. Rafael Lazard on the inside. The Pinty's fall brawl is underway. Off they go into corner number one, and it is a little bit of patience going through one and two. You can see that trepidation on the front few drivers as they work in there. Trayton Lapsovich quickly trying to find his way down to the bottom, and they'll come off the corner. It's Watson, Lassard, and Lapsovich, your top three. From third on back, they are stacked up. Double wide, Trayton Lapsovich up high. Donald Teej on the inside, still racing side by side down the back straightaway. Nobody getting the clear advantage. Donald Teej maintaining his track position on the bottom. It looks like Lapsovich will clear him off a of four. And the top two all clear sailing right now for them, but it is a bit of a mess behind that. Now Trayton Lapsovich does get down to the bottom, clears Teej. He's side by side with Steckley down the back stretch into three. Watson and Lassard out ahead by about eight car lengths. You can see these drivers really having to pedal these race cars to keep them under control. Ray Morneau a little bit deeper, got down to the bottom of the racetrack. Kevin Lacroix took advantage and made some moves to the outside. So the great news is with drivers running both lanes, it's going to drive them off and make them raceable much sooner. Andrew Ranger. Over as we got oh. one around up in corner number one, uh, two, rather. Stacy around. Yeah, it's almost hard to see him back in against that light standard he'll get the car rolling once again close the gap Trayton Lapsovich behind that and Kyle Steckler Whoa, trouble in turn three Sam Fellows goes around Glenn Styers goes around Trevor Monahan goes around Daniel Bois does a nice job squeezing to the outside and Sam Fellows and Glenn Styers will go down a lap Trevor Monahan is going to avoid going a lap down as he gets that car rolling once again. Flames under the hood, up in the wheel well of that zero of Glenn's tires, unless I'm seeing things. No, you can see it there on our monitors. Definitely flames under the hood of the zero. I could almost imagine he busted a brake line maybe in that zero. What else? Unless there was rubber up in there that somehow caught fire, but uh, we'll see as he comes by our position. Slow smolder right now for Glenn Styers. It's yeah, the right rear oh! fence. Oh, trouble for Wallace Stacy. Wow, Brandon Watson threads the needle there. As he runs in the third spot, trouble in turn number one. Wallace Stacy goes around in the number sixty-six. And he'll roll it down to the bottom in corner number two. Flat left rear tire. It might, yeah, it just there? the left yeah. rear on the 66 is flat. I thought maybe both left side tires. And he is going to try and creep around a pit lane. And that's, oh, we got a big pile up down in four. Styers involved. Cathcart, TJ Rinomato. I didn't see what happened there, but uh, the two machine looks to have taken the worst of it. Daniel Bois might have had a piece of that as well in the, goodness gracious, someone drove up right up into the cockpit of the Renamato number two. We have a replay. Look towards the back of the field there. Bois got together with the 71 of Cathcart. Oh. I'm surprised that did that much damage that. Yes, I, I was expecting something magnificent. I thought exactly what you said. Someone had to have draw, driven right up over the car. But Mark Antoine Cameron's going to win the championship this year. As we look at the replay down into one and two. Yeah, Cameron just kind of squared him up, lightened up the back end. Now, where, where was the three of Sheridan going? He's able to clear down he, in one. But watch this. I don't think Lassard is thrilled with what went on there with that restart. Let's see how close he can get to the nine of Watson. Sends it down into turn number three. To the inside he goes. Contact between oh, Lassard and Watson. No. And Rafael Lassard goes around. Wow. DJ Kennington 
just made the most veteran move I've seen. Watch what DJ Kennington does in that number 17. We can go back and talk about Brandon Watson playing games on the starts and restarts, which is his opportunity to do within reason. He can set the pace. It kind of got carried away. So that restart, there were hard feelings right from the drop of the green flag, Greg. So they've thrown the red flag. They'll get the safety crews out onto the scene. We see Alex Tagliani moving around inside the Viagra NTN number 18. I think we'll see once we watch the replay. Kevin Lacroix was very involved in what was going on down there. Watch the 74. So contact with the 8 and the 9. Okay, and there's nothing Lacroix could have no. done. But watch Kennington. Let up, let up, let up. Driving Andrew away. Ranger almost flipped over the hood of DJ Kennington. Like, watch him. This is just veteran. Okay, I'm going to hang out here. Yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> Folks, what a great addition is that screen on the front straightaway. My goodness. So by all reports, the drivers are... the control car you can bet donald t just not going to come out ahead of the nine this time side by side to the line kevin lacroix got a good run as well heading down into turn one boy brandon watson got a good restart here but here comes teach fighting back on the outside line watson will clear their side by side behind him three wide down the back straightaway deeper in the field but we focus our attention on the leaders brandon watson leading the way getting the drive off of turn number four three laps to go watson is out in front of Laquan and Teach side by side for second. Right behind them, Trayton Lapsovich stacked up behind this battle for the second spot. Teach and Lacroix, they're not leaving Brandon Watson there. They're within a half a car length. Teach got a really good run into turn number three there. If he can come off with a good run, he's closing in on Brandon Watson. Two laps to go. Down through one and two, they go up the hill and then down the hill, down into corner number three. Watson leads, but Teej is right there. Teej has been a victim of a bump and run before. Is he going to lay one down? They come off a turn number four. The white flag is in the air. Teej is having a look on Brandon Watson. Looks to the inside into turn number one. Here they come through corner number two for the final time and down the back stretch. Watson edges ahead, but Teej is going to give it one last shot. Deep into the corner goes Teej. He sets the car into the middle. Is he going to give him a bump? Down off a of turn number four. Contact. No. Watson to the win. Teej second. Lacroix third. What a race. Donald Teej showed the nine to Brandon Watson. A ton of respect there. He raced him hard. He raced him clean. We're headed to victory lane. Great job by Donald Teach. He could have driven.